like Clover is back, and uh, Ichika joining the harem has been confirmed. So we start out with the, the population looking up at the sky and being able to actually see it for the first time in apparently hundreds of years. Apparently the sleeping dragon, Miasma, was basically infecting not just the water, but also the air and making it all cloudy and gluck. And when Asta slashed the dragon, his anti-magic also slashed away all the uh, miasma, so it, he cleared the skies. My only thought on that is that we didn't really get into a lot of the gloom of the miasma in the story. Like, we talked about how the sea was a, a dead sea, it was blackened, it was just gross, but that was about it. It was kind of glossed over, and so was the miasma in the sky as well. Asta clearing everything up, it felt kind of uh, half-hearted to me. Asta, of course, discovers Heath's body and recognizes him immediately as the man who attacked Saucy Village. And that's when Ryu informs him that Lucius actually has the ability to bring the dead back to life. In fact, people as strong as Grand Magic Knights. Which implies that this, these three were probably the weakest uh, paladins that he had. These were people that he just decided for some ungodly reason just to screw the Asta with, I'm guessing, to, to bring back. And he is much more powerful. Like, he could have even probably brought back, like, the first Wizard King or other wizard kings. Now, I know that's going to be in the movie where they're going to have to fight previous wizard kings, but it could happen again. <laughs> we could have a movie and also in the manga where we fight previous wizard kings. By the way, this is a bad habit that shonens seem to have. It hasn't really happened nowadays lately, but it used to happen all the time back when the big three were, were huge, is that at the end of the story, all dead characters would be brought back to life as like zombies or whatever, and then we have to fight them all over again. Like, honestly, everyone did it. Like, uh, Fairytale did it, Naruto did it, Bleach did it. It was just a recurring thing that back, uh, back in the day was a problem, in my opinion, because everyone just kept bringing back zombies or whatever. With that being said, it's been like a decade or so since, uh, this zombie thing has happened, and uh, so I'm not really worried about it. So Asta obviously wants to get back to Clover Kingdom as quickly as possible, and Ryu tells him that the Black Bulls are currently searching for him, and if he has faith in them, they might find him. And Asta's like, yeah, no, 100%, I have faith in my my team. They will find me, absolutely. So their plan is to basically wait <laughs> for the next, like, three days. Instead of, instead of going to the Black Bulls, because Ryu knows where they are, because he knows where everyone on planet Earth is at the, at the very moment, instead of just going to them, he's just going to have Asta wait and the Black Bulls will find them, apparently. <laughs> That's the plan. That's kind of funny. In the meantime, they decide to have a giant festival to celebrate uh, Ryu, the Seven, and of course Asta. They apparently start slicing up the uh, the dragon. The skin apparently is like steel, like, so, it's, so they plan on making it into valuable material, probably armor and such. And they also plan on cooking the meat and eating it. <laughs> Basically, they're celebrating the fact that they have this giant bounty of a valuable dragon. Personally, the, instead of having the medical wizard or sorcerer in this world, instead of having the medical sorcerer eat and cook the dragon, why don't you try to learn how it can regenerate its head being blown off? I'm just saying, that could be very useful. That, you know, regening limbs and such. Ichika confronts uh, Ryu about uh, the fact that she was the one who killed her entire clan. We don't actually get to hear the conversation, it kind of just hands out as basically it all happens. Asta gets drunk on sake. The thing is, is that this isn't really the first time he's gotten drunk. Like, we, so it's no big deal, but he's always an excited drunk, and we get to learn what everyone's personalities are when they're drunk, too. Ichika actually doesn't drink at all for some reason. Well, I suppose she's kind of dealing with the fact that she killed her clan, just learned about it. So she apologizes to Asta about insulting uh, Yami. He's really happy. He's glad that she understands that it was just a misunderstanding between her and, and Yami. Thing is, he doesn't actually know what she just learned because she doesn't tell him so it's kind of an awkward thing in my opinion where he's all happy <laughs> that she's forgiven yami ichika's well absolutely broken and she just wanders off komori and donzaman whose name still sounds like a digimon are apparently excited drunks <laughs> they're all happy and giddy and just going crazy and they start talking about this the doll the serving doll that looks like charmy and it is revealed that apparently, on her journeys to discover new food, Charmy did in fact show up in the land of the rising sun. And when they were in the middle of a famine, she used her magic to produce tons of food so they could eat. And she ended a famine in another country. What? And now she's honored as basically a food god, a savior. What? What? And when they tell this to Asta, because they don't actually know the name of Charmy, Asta's response is, oh, I guess it's not Charmy then. No, it's Charmy. What the hell? How did she end up in the land of the rising sun? What the fuck? Also, doesn't this mean that when the Black Bulls show up, they're all gonna basically worship Charmy as a god? What? Joseph's a sad drunk. Yeah, he's uh, he's completely miserable, basically saying that he's pathetic, unworthy of this party. 
His face is also covered in scars, that's why he wears the mask. A lot of people are predicting that he was probably a foreigner, and so he wore it to hide the fact he was a foreigner, but no, he wears it to hide all of his scars. Yosuga is completely normal. He's just, you know, a normal guy drinking. With that being said, he does ask Asuka, Asta if he knows any strong women. Yeah, he does. He immediately thinks of Mariliona. Okay, so in a SBS, it was asked, what kind of man does, uh... Does Mariana like? And the answer was, the one that can beat her in a fight. And if he's looking for a strong woman, then that means an entire country is going to be wiped off the map. That's, that's, the, that's the only thing I can come to. Because if these two fight, millions will die. Gino, I'm not going to pronounce her entire name because I cannot. Gino is a psychotic drunk. Because when Asta is about to puke and he can't drink anymore sake, she starts to draw her sword. Why? Just because a man can't drink anymore booze doesn't mean you have the right to cut him down. Because whenever she draws her sword, she goes into her psycho mode. So she thinks it's necessary while she's drunk to cut someone down who can't keep up with her in drinking. Yeah, yeah, she's uh, completely nuts. So Dazamon suggests the two of them take a bath to sober up. So he takes him to the hot springs. Dazamon conveniently forgets his towel. He also forgets that it's actually the woman's time to bathe. So Asta goes in by himself, and Ichika's there. As you can imagine, Asta thinks he's about to die, but Ichika is more of a girly response where she just screams. So the next day, he sees Ichika again, <laughs> and the first thing he does is he apologizes. And this is where I said she officially joined the harem. She tells him that he's going to have to take responsibility. Now, Asta's completely confused on what that even means, but it basically means you basically gotta marry her now. <laughs> so yeah, he should join the harem, officially. And now it's time for Asta's final test while he waits for the Black Bulls to find him. He has to defeat all of the Ryu 7, and uh, yeah, I 100% believe Asta's gonna do this. Which means either in the next chapter the Black Bulls are gonna show up, and Charmin's gonna be worshipped as a god, or we're gonna see Asta fight everyone. Most likely, because this is Black Clover, we're actually going to see all the fighting between Asta and the Ryu 7. I would really like to see. I don't know if he's going to fight all five at one, all seven at once, or he's going to go one at a time, but either way, I think the next chapter we're basically going to have a... We're going to go through all seven of them as Asta wins each little fight. <laughs> so yeah, either the Black Bulls are going to show up at the end of the chapter, like a single panel at the bottom, or they're going to be the chapter after this one. Either way, we're on break next week, so... Alright, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, give a thumbs up so you enjoy more Black Clover and other anime things. Thank you and have a great day.